A school in South London says the housing crisis is making it harder for children to learn because many are dealing with the impact of being homeless. At Harris Primary Academy in Peckham, the large majority of pupils are homeless, with families ranging from sofa surfing with friends to living in B&Bs and hostels. Its head teacher says it's upsetting and appalling that this has become the norm at the school. Harry Lowe reports. It was really shocking, actually, that this is London, this is a capital city, and we've got that level of poverty and deprivation. Maria's head teacher at Harris Primary Academy, Peckham Park. The school pays for meals, trips and uniforms to help struggling parents. The majority of our families would describe that they're living in non-secure tenancies, which means that they've got no idea when they're going to be moved from that, that flat or that house or that room, which is hugely stressful for them. And then we've also got a large number of families who are going between accommodations. When you think of a school, you don't necessarily think of teachers as housing officers. Staff here say that the majority of its 300 pupils are now homeless, with many of them living in temporary or crowded accommodation. London's housing crisis, they say, is making it harder for children to learn. We see increasing numbers of children who might be really tired by the afternoon because they've been up very early or who may be withdrawn because actually there are horrible things going on in the hostel that they're living in. And so it's, increasing, um, it's an increasing impact, negative impact on their mental health. Kelly's one of those parents living in temporary housing with her daughter. It's terrible, absolutely terrible. Having basically to live out of a bag because you don't know when you're going to have to move when you're going to have to go somewhere else, uproot your children from school. Very emotional, stressful. I just want somewhere that I can call home for me and my child. She says the staff have been a huge help. They've played a very big part. They've helped me come a long way in the 10 months with my mental health. They've helped me really a lot with my, hair and my housing and just mine and my daughter's wellbeing, basically. Chantelle is the Special Educational Needs Coordinator and says it can be hard to switch off. The most difficult aspect of my job is Probably the, the emotional um, kind of baggage that I'm carrying because I see a lot of families and I see the turmoil that they're going through um, and it does, it does affect me. I take it home, you know, I try to leave it at work but I'm only human. <laughs> Southwark Council blamed the housing crisis on the government's welfare reforms and what it called astronomical rents in the private sector. The Department for Leveling Up Housing and Communities told us everyone has a right to a safe and decent place to call home. That's why we have set out an ambitious long-term housing plan to build the homes that Britain needs. We're spending £2 billion over three years to tackle homelessness and get families into permanent accommodation. Harry Lowe, BBC London.